Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Lance 1172. This is the flagship of the Lance truck camper line. This is the big daddy, if you will. It is uh, designed to go on a one-ton dually. So it's, as you can see, it is a monster. It is a beautiful truck camper. Let's go ahead and start on the outside here, then we'll make our way inside. The first thing you'll notice, granted there are a little bit of bugs on here, if it picks it up in the camera, we just got this one in. But that's uh, the beautiful front cap on there. It's you know kind of what it's there for, it's what it helps. Also, it definitely helps for insulation, helps prevent any kind of water penetration because it does fold over the sidewall there as well. You make our way underneath here, uh, you see your rain gutter there, so that way if rain does you know, come in and drags along, comes down the bulkhead here, the water will naturally run off to the side, not fill up in your pickup truck. And you have your strips right here as well, uh, that way you can slide it nice and easily into the back of the truck without doing any damage. Uh, and personally I like the strips over the bumpers, um, you know, because it covers the entire front. The bumpers, you know, if they get in there they can twist, they can, you know, kind of uh, scrunch up. These I think are just a better overall system, especially when you start looking at some of the different tie downs. Your Atwood heavy duty jacks on all four corners, of course, those are power. Just touch a button to go ahead and lift it up and off the truck, and it'll obviously move the truck camper up and down. Now, on the 1172, this is essentially where you'll set up camp. A lot of times on truck campers, it'll be on the back. Uh, when we go back there, you'll see this unit actually has a slide in the back, so this would be your main camp area. And that's why right up top, you have the Carefree of Colorado power awning. Just touch a button that rolls out, same thing to go right back in, super simple and easy to use. Also you have outside speakers here, so if you do want to sit out here listen to music you can absolutely do that. Now those are controlled by our multimedia center inside, however it is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here on your smartphone or tablet, you can go ahead and control it uh, again via Bluetooth. Right here is your hot water heater, or water heater rather. This is really cool too. So one of the things Lance is really good about is access uh, for any kind of maintenance. And this is a perfect example. So right here is your water pump. Uh, not only do you need to find that for winterization, which you can see uh, and how nice and easy it is to winterize there as well, but also this is one of the things that commonly go bad on RVs. So if you do need to service it, right there it is. Very easy to get to. Right here is power outlet. So again, as I mentioned, this is your main camp area. So power outlet right there. If you need to charge or plug in your cell phone or whatever, whatever else you can easily do so. Open this guy up, two 30 pound propane tanks on here, you can see the selector right up top. Uh, you know this is a big coach, they expect you to be gone for a while, so having the 60 pounds of propane is exactly what you want. Frameless style windows here which are very nice, uh, you know those are great for a couple different reasons. One, they sure do look nice. Uh, two, the seals themselves are actually tucked behind the glass, so that way it's not going to be as, uh, nearly as exposed to the elements, meaning you will get more life out of the windows. And lastly, because the way they open, uh, you can get a nice flow coming through here, even when it is raining you can still get a breeze. Now bear in mind those are still dual pane windows, so this does still have the, uh, the winter package on there, it is definitely acceptable for the colder seasons. Going back a little bit further here, uh, right there is your furnace. Getting into the coach is nice and easy. Now currently the steps are on the ground because we don't have it lifted very high, uh, just obviously to make it a little bit easier to get into for demonstration purposes. But you will see right here you have keyless entry, so if you do you know, forget your keys inside or you don't have them on you, you need to run back, get in real quick, no problem, you can go ahead and use that to get in. Uh, you have the standard grab rail here, you also have the foldable easy grab rail, again just making it easier to get in the coach. Uh, and as I did mention, right there it is, there's that badge showing this is 100% uh, four season capable. So you come around to the back, so as I uh, said we were on the side, the reason this isn't the main part of camp is because you have a big slide right here. When we go inside you'll see exactly why, it's definitely one of my favorite floor plans for a truck camper. Uh, but right here is your rear mounted ladder. Now I, you know, you're probably thinking, well shoot that's awfully hard to climb up there, that's a pretty big first step. Not to worry, inside there is a uh, ladder extension that you can clip right on there, so that way you can easily access the rooftop right from here. Uh, you'll also notice you have a slide out topper on there. That's pretty important too. That really helps if you're parked underneath trees, any debris, whether it's you know sticks, um, you know, or pine cones, whatever else. Rather than having it fall on top of your slide and possibly get gummed up in your seals when you push the slide in, the slide out topper helps all that from happening. So it'll sit right up there. So when the slide does roll in, all the sticks, uh, acorns, whatever else will come right off. 
You also see right here you have a backup camera. That's very advantageous too. Uh, you know, pretty obvious what that's for. This is a big rig. You want to be able to see behind you, and that is exactly what that allows. Large rear picture window right there. You know, one of the great parts about a truck camper is you can take it just about anywhere. So if you do have a uh, some beautiful scenery, you want to be able to enjoy it out the back, go ahead and look at you know, right out that window, and you can certainly do exactly that. LED lights on the back here as well. You can see those, you have two. Then as you take a look underneath, we'll shoot underneath here, open this up. Take a look at this extra storage. This is really cool storage back here. Um, now obviously this will be a little bit easier to access when the unit's a little higher, but this is a removable shelf, so if you wanna take this out, you can do so. Uh, you know, and you can also slide it back and forth just like this, lock it into place right here. Uh, but that's really cool. You know, it's a very large storage area, especially on a truck camper. Then, we move over a little bit go ahead and drop this down so again as I said maintenance side of things they try to make things very easy you see your transfer relay right here this is actually for this slide this is your slide control the cool thing about that is if uh, your slide ever does fail all you have to do is pull these two plugs right here you can manually push this slide in and then reattach those those are essentially the brakes for the slide so you manually push it in reattach the brakes re-engage that way the slide is in ensuring you don't get stuck somewhere so very very neat right over here is a place for your sewer hose just turn that guy drops right down so that is where you will store that and then we come around to the other side right here uh, this unit is equipped with your Cummins Onan 2500 watt LP generator right there open this up this is pretty great you have a convenience center nice and centrally located here outside shower uh, if you do have, you know, satellite or cable hookup where you're at right there, of course, your dump valves here, all of your drains, as well as the battery disconnect is located there too. So again, things are extremely easy. And then as we move uh, up, one last thing on the coach that I'd like to talk about, uh, actually these two, I forgot about these. So you take a look here, two extra storage areas right here on the side of the slide. It is magnetic latch, which is kind of nice, so all I have to do is just put it up, it stays up just like that, which is pretty neat. So you see those two cubby holes right there. Then up front here, this unit is equipped um, with the uh, battery separator, which is really nice, that's what this is. So that way it doesn't, uh, the coach won't drain your entire battery when it's sitting there, which is, uh, again, very advantageous. Window right up front, you can see that. Uh, and then, as you see right here, this is nice too. Uh, once again, for the maintenance side of things, if this slide gets stuck, it's a little bit different, not quite the same operation. What you do is it comes with a uh, tool bit, you put it right in there, with, uh, you know, either a hand crank or drill, then you can go ahead and move that slide in. Uh, last couple things, you know, quick couple things about some of the construction on Lance. You know, Lance is built extremely well. They're, you know, one of the top names in truck campers for a great reason. It is all aluminum framing, which is gonna be very advantageous. Uh, also, the Lance utilizes a Lance lock system, which essentially, rather than just screwing the uh, floor into the sidewall like a lot of manufacturers do, they actually use a metal extrusion. And what that extrusion does is it essentially bears the weight of that wall. Screws, while they're meant to, you know, screw things to a wall, they don't have a lot of shear strength. So, you know, they're not built to be able to withstand uh, all the weight of that wall. Having that metal extrusion is a huge deal, which is why you see lances, you know, that are uh, really old because they last a long time. They are very well built. Okay, that pretty much wraps it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Lance 1172. This model is in the all new Roadster interior. So let's go ahead and take a look at the slide out dinette right here. Nice large dinette. I personally love this new interior. I think it has a great look. You can see it has the leather seats on here. It's a great feel too. You know, when you, uh, you can kind of tell a difference in quality when you feel this leather versus what's in a lot of RVs. This feels like a quality product and then the dream dinette here still does drop down into a bed so that's not an issue whatsoever if you need that additional sleeping space just flip the lever and push the bed down they have redone uh, the latches on here which are pretty cool just push a button in like that go ahead and grab it and then you can pull this out now you will see tucked away in here is a table this table actually goes right down there uh, I'll show you you know that a little bit a little bit later there's a big incliner and stuff there too um, your hatch covers are also stored in here as well as well as the other uh, the screen to the backup camera so lots of stuff in there but you will see you do have that on both sides nice large easy 
access storage. Big window right there too, lets in a lot of natural light. Uh, you can see you have LED lights right here. These are on a dimmer switch. You can see that there. And then right above that is a bunk. So you have uh, these on either side. Just go ahead and undo these like so. The bunk pulls right down, just like that. And this guy just folds right back. Super simple and easy. Then what you notice is you also have this screen, these turnbuckles right up top. So you can just go ahead, move it in, turn the turnbuckles, very easy. That way you create the screen, make sure no one rolls out. Um, and also, you know, you can drop this down, use this for storage as well. So if you don't plan on using the dinette a whole ton, you want some extra storage, you can go ahead and put this up, put the screen up there. You can see it has a zipper on here, so that way you can just unzip it, access what you need to. Uh, so I definitely like that this is included, again, even if you don't use it for sleeping space. As we move up a little bit further, right here's your Norcold fridge freezer. You can see that they do have two separate doors, which is very nice, stainless steel, uh, very large. You know, I mean, it's, it's what you'd expect in a big truck camper like the 1172, and they definitely deliver. You can see all the storage right there, a ton of storage. Uh, give you some ice trays. Also, this comes out if you need some uh, room for larger items like uh, you know, orange juice, half gallon of milk, or whatever else you may have in there. Entertainment center right here, 28 inch Jensen TV. Um, so this is great, this is on a swing arm mount. So if you wanna pull this out and around, you know, you can move it uh, to right here um, by the dinette. It actually, you know, it comes out quite a ways if you wanna swing it, you know, even further around. It's currently locked here, but you can just undo the lock. It will actually swing all the way around. Uh, so you can look at it in the back, which uh, is where your incliners are. And again, we'll see that a little bit later. Have some good storage right down here, and then a little bit, you know, some magazine racks and stuff right there as well. So you move forward, right here are some of your controls. Uh, this is for your gens, uh, gen start, so if you wanna go ahead and turn the generator on, there that is. And then here uh, are the monitors for all of your tanks as well. New countertops uh, for the, uh, the late model. Again, this is a fall model, 2017. I love the new countertops in here. I think they have an awesome design. The 1172 does have good countertop space. Uh, and the way they accomplish that is through a couple things. One, they give you dual sink top covers here, a cooktop cover, and then they also have a countertop extension right here. So uh, good countertop space. An electrical outlet here as well. So if you do need to you know, put a blender or anything here, plug it in, you can go and do so and then you will notice you also have one in the corner uh, which is great for something a little more permanent like coffee maker or something like that two drawers right over here go ahead and pull those open you can see that uh, and these are as you will see slow close drawers very cool uh, that's something that is throughout all Lance products but definitely uh, just kind of goes to show part of the quality that they put in uh, speaking of Lance quality if you take a look um, you know like uh, we can take a look right up here so if you look at the cabinetry up here you will see how that goes right up to the ceiling all right most manufacturers can't do that they have to use what is known as gimp molding um, where you know it kind of hides the imperfections where it's not a perfect cut however Lance uses all CNC uh, cutting so everything is perfect each and every time that's a huge deal when it comes to all your units you know that the quality you know no matter what you're getting on what day of the week is gonna be exactly the same and they use a light ply material all the cabinetry in here is uh, residential grade the way it's done they channel everything out you know and they have two pieces like this fitting together they'll put a channel in here and then actually put this piece in it there's glue and everything right in there so you know it ensures that it is a very solid uh, again you know you can bang on this stuff it's not gonna break um, you know just beautiful cabinetry all throughout positive latches on here too go ahead and open that up so the positive latch is nice that makes sure stuff doesn't fly open uh, while you're going down the road but you can see your shelf right here great storage also you have access to the back right in there you can see that too now uh, right here, more storage there. And then right over here, this swings open. So great storage up there as well. Now they're able to get this storage because instead of having a microwave, we went with a convection oven down below, um, which I'll show you that in just a moment. But first, stainless steel hood right here with a light and a fan. Uh, this is our three burner cooktop. As I mentioned, you do have the, cook, uh, the cover on there. Uh, Atwood cooktops, the front one is high output, great flame control on there. And then as I mentioned, right 
right here is your convection oven. So there's a bunch of stuff in there. We just got it from the manufacturer, uh, but convection ovens are great. Um, they cook quicker than your standard oven and they're a lot easier to clean. Um, you know, and they, they run off electric. So definitely a lot more efficient as far as your uh, propane use. So I definitely enjoy having that convection oven there. Open this guy up. You can see the storage underneath. Plenty of storage there. You do have enough room for a trash can. You know, if you want a smaller trash can right here, you can go ahead and do that and still have room for cleaning chemicals, everything else you need down there. A little bit of extra uh, storage area right there, which is kind of cool. Little, you know, great little spice rack. To take off the sink top covers, you will see they have gone to an American stone cast sink in here, which I love American stone cast sinks. Uh, if you've seen some other videos, you've probably seen me talk about them before, but they don't scratch up as easy as stainless steel. Uh, and they, you know, even though they're stone, they're not going to burn. They can still withstand temperatures of 500 degrees, no problem. Um, you know, I, I like that they've switched to this. I think it's definitely a good choice. Also, high-rise faucet on there. You know, nice large high-rise. A lot of times the faucets don't go near that high, but I like it. It does. It's a pull-out as well. So super easy to go ahead and wash and rinse dishes. So we move over a little bit further, uh, right here on the side, you will notice you have key rings right there. So you come in, hang up your keys, awning control is light there as well. Some additional controls, grab handle going in and out. This is really cool too. So now you have the grab handle on the outside. You have one on the inside here again, to ensure you have a safe entrance and exit from the coach. Uh, fire extinguisher, then you do have a little spot right there, which is nice for the uh, slide as well as your jack control. Then right over here, a little bit of additional storage. You see a nice pull-out pantry right there. So that's really neat. They went ahead and included that. And then you can see some additional storage down below. Now, one of the cool things about the 1172 is this right here. This is my favorite part about the 1172. You have the rear slide out, which not only affords you this very large uh, rear picture window here, but you get this. So as I showed you earlier, you do have uh, the table that can go right here, but this is an incliner. So how cool is this? You just pull and boom, there you go. You have a spot to sit, you have a spot to relax besides just the dinette. This one right here does the same thing. You know, you can hang out, you can watch, TV uh, and be able to put your feet up. So I really love that they did that. Putting it in is nice and easy too. You can just kind of take your heels, you kind of lift it up and in, and there you go. So extremely easy. But not only is this an incliner, this is also a jackknife sofa. So what you will see, we can get right in here. You do have great storage right underneath, including, if I move this, you might be able to see it, right there is the ladder attachment. I mentioned we were outside, so that way you can easily climb the ladder. But then this also drops down into a bed, just like your standard jackknife sofa. So it's the best of both worlds. You can, you know, you can relax, put your feet up, and it still affords you extra sleeping space. So very cool. Uh, last couple things of note, you do have a couple LED reading lights in here, uh, clock right here, you know, it's always nice to know what time it is, and a magazine rack right down there. Also right on the back here, you will see you have electrical outlet, two USB ports, and a 12 volt. So whether you're sitting in the incliner or if you're utilizing uh, the dinette there, you can go ahead and plug in your electronics. But that will wrap up the back half. Why don't we go up front, we'll take a look at the bathroom and the cab over. The bathroom in the 1172 is nice and large. You'll see right down here your uh, toilet, plenty of leg room there. Uh, if you look at the sink top and vanity, you have good storage underneath, an additional drawer, electrical outlet, huge countertops on there, awesome countertop space, which is really great. Uh, big mirror over here. And then as we take a look up, you'll see additional storage. You also have a towel bar there underneath. Uh, up top is a vent, so you can go ahead and vent out all your moisture. Large skylight above the tub. You can see not only do you have a removable, a removable clothes hanger right here, which is really cool, but also you have the shower curtain, which goes like this so that way you get some extra space here so the curtains not leaning right against you uh, really makes a shower space seem much larger then you'll see your hand wand there too uh, and then of course down below is the tub with a built-in seat so if we take a look at the cab over you'll see right here is the 60 by 80 queen size bed over to the side you have nice large wardrobe you can see that hang rod going all the way across it is mirrored uh, vent up top and then over to the side of the vent you have a bunch of uh, hookups right up there everything from tv hookups plug-ins uh, 12 volt plug-in up there as well over to the side here you see the nice foot locker good extra storage uh, window on both sides of the bed you also have a little shelf area going across the top there some additional storage right up here 
A uh, couple speakers up top, LED light, and then right here they have a huge skylight, which is really, really neat. Uh, lastly, right over here you have a little bit of storage, and then if you take a look up above, that is your Jensen Multimedia Center. Uh, so that is what controls your speakers. This is also a DVD player, so if you do want to watch a movie, go ahead and put it in and you can watch it on the TV. Curtition right here, so if you do have additional guests, you want some privacy, you can just go ahead and close that right off. But all right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Lance 1172 in the all new Roadster interior. If you have a one ton dually and you're looking for, you know, one of the biggest, best truck campers out there, this is certainly in that category. Uh, the 1172 is one of Lance's flagships. You have a ton of room. It is a absolutely massive truck camper. That rear slide out is great. Really gives you a lot of extra uh, seating options and it's still nice and open in here. Uh, so this is definitely one you have to consider. If you're looking for price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.